Most weekend sailors have already put their boats away for the winter, except for some hardy souls on the West Island. Joanne Bailey reports the only thing that will stop these sailors is pack ice. For these boaters, the real sailing season has just begun. Their sailboats are called frosties. That's short for frostbite sailing. And that's just what these people do until the lake freezes in December. Don Boyd launched the group last year. It was sort of a, a fluke of nature, an accident. Uh, someone just wanted an idea of cheating the sailing season. And uh, next thing you know, we had 35 uh, other people like us suckered into it. <laughs> There are now 800 Frosties. Every weekend, they get together to race in their specially made boats. Small enough to fit in a compact car, the boats cost about $300 to build. There's also special clothing for these sailors. We make sure everyone's obviously wearing uh, life jackets, and uh, this time of year, the water is not so cold. They have to worry about hypothermia, but we wear, most of us wear dry suits. And when the water gets very cold, and, and we've sailed in snow and ice, uh, we insist that you have to wear survival gear. Even when you don't fall in the water, it's not warm. But these hardy sailors don't mind. But the thing is, for us, it's not really cold. I mean, look at us. We're not fashion plates. You come out here, you've got all your equipment on. You've got a dry suit or something similar. And basically, you just go out and you're moving around enough that you don't get cold. Crosby Boyd is not new to sailing, but she is new to Frosties. She says she loves it, even though her family and friends don't share her enthusiasm. Well, they came down and watched me last year a bit, and they went, oh, you do this for fun. Can we go in for coffee? <laughs> that was sort of the end of that. There's an occasional capsize or rescue at sea, but overall, these sailors say it's a safe sport. On a beautiful fall day, frosty sailing may look pretty attractive, but maybe not so in December, when these people will still be out battling snow and ice to spend an afternoon on their boats. Joanne Bailey, CBC News, Point Clare.